first. Imagine losing your child on Mother's Day. He didn't get to spend the day with her, so I wanted to make him part of it <laughs> any way I could. Tonight, family members are sharing their memories of a man killed in a car crash on Mother's Day. Kyle Alba and four others died when two cars collided on US 290 just outside of Dripping Springs. KXAN's Phil Prazen was there when Kyle's relatives returned to the spot where he lost his life. They've driven past this stretch of 290 all their life. Now, the pavement a thousand feet outside of Dripping Springs will be forever marked by the final moments of a loved one. Thinking my brother was trapped in the back of the vehicle, pronounced dead at the scene. Shasta Alba wanted to see where her brother Kyle died. Family friend Matthew Gonzalez walked along the shoulder to pick up pieces of the car and memories of the man. This is uh, my friend Kyle's hat. We were going to give to his son and pieces of the car. He taught his 16-year-old brother Angel how to grow up as a man. It just sucks. The feeling of losing someone so close to you, it sucks. I'm going to miss his laugh. He had a really goofy laugh. Kyle never made it home for Mother's Day, so this group brought a flower kissed by his mother to his last place. So he could be a part of it, a Mother's Day he missed with his mama. <laughs> I just want everybody to know that Kyle, I don't know, I can't talk. They'll drive past it all the time, now with a memory of loss, one rainy Mother's Day afternoon. In Dripping Springs, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. In addition to the five people killed, two others remain in the hospital tonight. DPS is still investigating the crash, but they say one car lost control and crossed into oncoming traffic. Police told KXAN on the scene the roads were wet from rain, but they weren't sure that was the cause of the crash. And we asked TxDOT if they plan to make any changes on this stretch of 290. They told us they do plan to resurface the highway from Crow Road to the Travis County line. Officials say they will use a new asphalt called PFC or permeable friction course. It's able to absorb some of the water, making it a lot safer to drive on during stormy weather. In 2010, TxDOT crews spent $3.5 million to resurface north and southbound Mopac between 2222 and Enfield. Drivers told us they noticed the difference. 